Good morning. Today is the Daily Bible Moment for May 29th. Now, the month is almost done, which is crazy, but I don't know how many of you have been on a hike or a time when you run out of water or run short on water. I was hiking in the jungles of Ecuador one time, um, visiting my brother there, and went on a church hike that was um, something like 15 miles through the jungle, and we carried water with us, and there were water streams everywhere, uh, but once our water ran out, we couldn't drink from the streams because of concerns of, of diseases that would have been carried there. And so here we were surrounded by water and and very, very thirsty. Um, thirsting, can't, couldn't wait to get back to the end of the hike just so that we could refill our water and, and rest. And I wonder if that's a little bit like what we are right now as we want to get back um, as a congregation to be rested, to rest under God's word, and to be filled. Uh, is there thirsting in us for that? And with that in mind, I just want to read Psalm 42. This is a psalmist thirsting to be in the presence of the Lord as well. And so we'll close with this. He said, As a deer pants for the flowing stream, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all the day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God, with glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you cast down on my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. My soul is cast down within me, therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep as the roar of your waterfalls, all your breakers and your waves have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a deadly wound in my bones, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down on my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Lord, we thank you for these words. Pray that these would be the cry of our heart as we thirst and long for you. In a dry and weary land where there is no water, we know the source of water the living water of life. Thank you in Jesus' name.